Before we begin, I encourage you all to like and subscribe to my channel as your support is truly appreciated. After every 1,000 new followers, I'll be doing a random drawing to give away a free pool cue. To enter, simply subscribe, like, and share this video from either YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. That's it. Now on to the video. Here are the basic rules to straight pool. Straight pool, which is also called 14.1 continuous and 14.1 rack, is a cue sport in which two competing players attempt to pot as many billiard balls as possible without playing a foul. In straight pool, the player may call an attempt to pocket any object ball on the table regardless of its number or color until only one object ball and the cue ball remain, at which point the other 14 balls are re-racked. At this point, play resumes with the objective of pocketing the remaining ball in a manner that causes the cue ball to carry them into the rack, spreading out the balls and allowing the player to continue the run. The goal is to reach a set number of points that is determined by agreement before the game begins. Traditionally 100 points is needed for a win, though professional matches may be higher. One point is scored by pocketing an object ball without a foul, while a point is deducted on a foul. In straight pool's first frame, the 15 object balls are racked with the center of the apex ball placed over the foot spot. Traditionally the one ball is placed at the rack's right corner and the five ball is placed at the rack's left corner for visibility, though there is no such rule requirement. Other balls are placed at random and must touch adjacent balls. Unlike most pool games, the object of straight pool's standard initial break shot is to leave the opponent without the chance to pot the ball. This is known as a safety. All shots, including the break shot, in straight pool require a nomination, in which both the ball and pockets are called before the shot is taken. Some shots, such as carooms and combinations, do not have to be called. On the break, either the cue ball and two other balls must touch a rail, or a ball must be pocketed. The failure to accomplish either of these conditions results in a foul. Fouling on the initial break incurs a penalty loss of two points. In addition, the opponent has the choice of either accepting the table in position or of having the balls re-racked and requiring the offending player to repeat the opening break. All other fouls made during the game incur a one-point deduction, and a player incurs an additional 15-point penalty for committing three consecutive fouls. The unique feature of straight pool is the racking that is played when one ball remains. These intra-game racks have a specific set of rules when the rack is supposed to be replaced, if neither the cue ball nor the object ball remain in the rack area, the balls are replaced with no ball at the apex. At this point, the aim is to pot the remaining ball and carry them into the pack of balls, allowing the shot on the next ball to continue the run. Additional rules apply when either ball is in the position where the balls would usually be racked. For a full set of the rules visit www.fillyfingers.com rules. See now how the rest of this first rack plays out. 